So you're starting a new training program on Monday. Maybe you're starting a new diet on Monday. Maybe it's both. You're highly motivated and you're thinking, I am going to destroy this. I'm going to kill it. I'm so motivated. I've got the best plan in place. Look, it might be a bit complex or a bit long in terms of uh, how long I'm going to spend in the gym. Maybe there's five days a week training and I can't really fit that in. My nutritional plan looks good on paper. I'm not sure how I'm going to actually prep it and eat the foods on a regular basis. But look, it all looks good on paper and I'm going to start on Monday and it's going to be bloody amazing. Good intentions will only get you so far when it comes to those amazing results that we're, we're all chasing when it comes to consistent training and you know good nutritional choices and I'm looking to increase my lean muscle mass. I'm looking to get strong in the gym. I'm looking to drop some body fat. I'm looking to change my nutritional habits. I'm looking to improve my cardiovascular fitness. I'm super motivated. I've got the best plans in place, but I haven't really given any consideration to the practical application of those plans. And this is one thing that I see time and time again where people go wrong when it comes to um, either their own planning or if they're working with a coach and, and they may you know, give some feedback to a coach that I want a, on a five-day-a-week plan, a six-day-a-week plan. I want to have five meals every day and I want to portion everything out and everything's going to be perfect and good intentions will only get you so far in fitness. And the thing is this, if, you, if you're not realistic with your approach, especially when it comes to the amount of work that you're doing uh, on a weekly basis, then unfortunately, chances are it's probably going to end in disappointment. Probably going to put in a big effort for a couple of weeks, maybe even a couple of months, but then you realize that the amount of effort that I need to put in, it's just not sustainable. I can't keep this up. I don't have the time. I don't have the willpower. There's a lot more here than what I thought. So one thing I do like to do, uh, if ever I've started working with someone for the first time and they might have some goals and they've got some big plans, you know, I really want them to, to think about what they're able to put in in the long term. And this is, the, this is the key when it comes to amazing, life-changing results when it comes to your training and your nutrition and your health and your fitness. You want to maintain it in the long term. And in the long term, you can see amazing results. Fitness is very similar to compounding interest. You know, from day to day, you don't see very much change at all, if anything. Week to week, it's still hard to see results. Month to month, year to year, you start to see some absolutely phenomenal results, life-changing results. And if someone is able to be consistent for an extended period of time, the human body is absolutely amazing. And all we need to do is consistently apply a stimulus over time. The body will make some fantastic adaptations. So the ultimate goal when it comes to programming for exercise can be anything, resistance training, running out on the road, whatever you want. And when it comes to making solid nutritional changes and making these habits permanent, Start small. Start so small that you might even think, well, I'm not doing a great deal, but I can implement this on the, in the long term. I can be consistent with this. I don't have a meal plan in place where I have five different dishes a day or a meal plan in place where all of my food needs to be reheated during the day, but I've got no ability to do that during work or a training program where I'm going in six days of the week when I just don't have that amount of time. You want to be realistic. You want to start on the smaller side first, and you want to be at the point where you're looking for more, you're motivated for more, you're, you're, you're so keen for more, you almost feel like you're underperforming, as opposed to setting the bar too high, unrealistically high, and then being disappointed because you can't keep up that consistency in the long term. And look, that disappointment, you want to try to avoid that at all costs because you don't want to have a negative relationship when it comes to exercise as well as uh, making nutritional choices that are going to deliver on good health outcomes because it's one of the best things you can do you know being in control of your physical health your nutrition uh, your fitness levels it is one of the best things that can possibly happen in your life it will elevate your position in life everything in life gets that little bit easier when you are looking after yourself now it's not easy in the short term it takes effort to get into the gym on a regular basis it takes effort to go and do the shopping and then go do your meal prep and then actually eat the foods. It is the easy option in the long term, but it's not the easy option in the short term. And so you need to give some consideration to that. I'm going to be putting in work during the short term throughout the, the next period, and I may not see results quickly. Results may take some time. 
if anything, the, the best planning that you could have in place for yourself when it comes to your own training plans and your own nutritional plans is something that relies on small wins over time. If you start a meal plan and you drop five kilos of body weight in the first week, I can promise you that meal plan is not going to be suited for you for very long at all. If you've got a training program in place and you're dead tired and you're so sore and sorry because the, the workload's so high or the frequency is so high or the exercise selection's above uh, the level that you're at at the moment, it's not going to work in the long term. You almost want to set the planning so that it's a challenge, but it doesn't quite satisfy uh, your desire for I guess, a, a challenge when it comes to your fitness, you know, so your training program might be just falling short of the mark that you want to set for yourself, but I can keep this up over time. And once I finish this plan, I can increase the intensity of the program. I can increase the frequency of the program. Same deal with nutrition. Maybe you start a new meal plan and you, you don't see huge changes in body weight straight away, or you're not starving straight away and you think, well, am I doing enough? But you've made some fantastic changes with your overall nutritional habits. I'm eating a higher protein diet. I've increased the fiber in my diet. I have some calorie controls in place. I'm minimizing ultra processed food. I'm not trying to spend all my wage on takeaway options or anything like that. I can sustain this now. And because I can sustain this now, I can build on it. I'm motivated to build on it, but I'm not overshooting too soon because that's where I'm going to see the drop in motivation. That's where I'm going to see that I start to develop an unhealthy relationship when it comes to my training and my nutrition. And I think it's something to do with me as an individual. I can't do this. I see everyone else on social media and, and they're training six, seven days a week and they're perfect with their nutrition. Remember, it's all smoke and mirrors. You don't want to compare yourself to anyone else. You only want to compare yourself to the person you were yesterday. And I just want to make a small improvement on the person that I was yesterday. And how am I going to make those improvements? I'm going to put in some effort and some deliberate action in the short term. It's going to be at a level that challenges me, but he's still but he's still sustainable, sorry, in the long term. And that's where we'll see the magic. So next time you're thinking about your brand new training program or you're writing up a nutritional plan for yourself, or even if you get some, some coaching and you're working with a coach, have a think about what I can maintain in the long term and use that as the base or the standard for the programming initially because if you overreach too soon you're going to find that you drop off motivation slips off and before you know it slippery slope and you're going downhill very very quickly all right if you do like this content please like and subscribe i'm really going to try to get this out on a regular basis thanks for the new subscribers already and i'll talk to you soon